You've heard this sound before, haven't you? It sounds like a rattlesnake shaking its tail. But in reality, it's just me shaking a rattle. This is the real sound produced by a rattlesnake. Unlike other venomous snakes that give you a warning with their bright colors, the rattlesnake issues a warning with a sound made by shaking its tail. There's a theory that this behavior evolved to prevent the snake from being stepped on by large animals like bison. So what could possibly be inside a rattlesnake's tail to make it produce such a sound? You might think there's something special inside, but in fact, the inside of a rattlesnake's tail is empty, just like this. When pressure is applied to it, it can even crumble with a crunch. The tail of a rattlesnake is made of a hard protein called keratin, similar to human nails, and its joints are interconnected like interlocking rings. Therefore, when you watch the tail shaking in slow motion, you can hear a rattling sound as the joints rub against each other. Shall we take another look? The rattle and rattlesnake actually refers to the clattering sound of hard objects rubbing each other, not the sound of something hitting from the inside. And this sound is amplified inside the hollow tail, echoing like in a cave. In fact, if you cut off a rattlesnake's tail and shake it, it makes the sound you hear now. Therefore, when hunting, rattlesnakes keep their tails still, using their muscles to prevent the sound from alerting their prey. The shaker muscle, connected to the rattling segment of the tail, is used to move the tail. It can contract and relax quickly, allowing the tail to shake up to 100 times per second and for as long as two hours at a time. Considering that a hummingbird flaps its wings at 30 to 50 times per second, this is an incredibly fast speed. By the way, here's an interesting fact. Newly born rattlesnakes can't make this rattling sound. This is because, as you can see, they only have one tail joint that can hit against another. However, as they shed their skin and grow, more keratin-made tail joints continue to form. A mature rattlesnake ends up with a tail consisting of 8 to 10 rattling segments. Of course, unlike tree rings that grow with age, a rattlesnake's tail doesn't increase beyond this length. That is because the hard tail joints might break if they get too long. And here's another interesting fact. There's a sad truth hidden in the sound of a rattlesnake's rattle. American herpetologist Joseph Slowinski and naturalist Dr. Ron Russo claimed that since the late 20th century, the number of rattlesnakes that can't rattle has been gradually increasing. Landowners hunting snakes could locate rattlesnakes by their sound, increasing the chances of capturing them. As a result, rattlesnakes that don't rattle have a survival advantage, which led to their increase. This phenomenon, where a specific trait is induced, not naturally but by human intervention, is called artificial selection. A well-known example is the increase in elephants with small tusks due to poaching for ivory. The problem is that with the increase in silent rattlesnakes, incidents of people being bitten by them, unable to hear their warning, have also risen. It's like humans have tightened the noose around their own necks. And that concludes our fascinating journey into the world of rattlesnakes. Science is a window to the world, and this has been Science Dream. Thank you for watching.